I did expect the amount of like patient contact that would have. I knew that that was um, always integrated into our study, but I didn't realise just how valuable it would be and how lucky we are to be able to do that straight away. It's a very practical based profession and it entirely re relies on students or physiotherapists being able to relate to their patients, being able to communicate really well with them. Six weeks into our course in second year and we're out there, which is daunting, but amazing. This stuff's all good in theory, but how does it apply to like a clinical setting? And that's, that's really driven in right from the get-go. Lectures at 8am, which for the most part we make with a coffee in hand, and then so for every lecture that you kind of have, so you've got an hour, and you go away to a two-hour lab to get to apply those skills. You kind of work through whatever was said in the lecture, so it might be a certain technique or it might be much more of a, like a teaching lab with a bunch of activities. It, it varies quite a bit, but generally it'll be things actually like hands-on, working on things. You have to be comfortable with people, and so that touching and practicing, you kind of develop quite a close bond doing that because you're really putting your body into their hands as such and vice versa. I'm a hands-on learner, so writing out notes and learning it that way doesn't really do it for me, but if you put me in a clinical setting with a patient, I'll be a little bit rugged to start with, but by the end of it, I'm usually quite good at doing what I'm doing. One of the things that is unique about the Otago model is that the school continues to provide support for clinical education all the way through to their final year of study. I love the patient interaction and talking to people and really getting to know what they're like because everyone's so different. It gives you just a chance to actually treat patients and have a go and they're, they're all really willing to um, give you advice on what's working for them and what's not working for them. We have such a different approach to other um, medical disciplines um, in terms of we've got quite a broad understanding of what is important to a patient too. The vast majority of them go into a clinical career working with patients um, doing physiotherapy practice and we're very much geared up for that. In addition to getting their University of Otago degree, we also have to make sure they reach competencies for the New Zealand Physiotherapy Board. You're already at an advantage coming, to, coming down to Dunedin as far as life experience goes. That is what really sets Dunedin apart from other universities in, in New Zealand. It is a much more student orientated experience. It's crazy fun. We go out on camps, we have multiple different events throughout the year. We've got Miss Physio coming up this next week. We have our ball. Um, it's like one big close-knit family. Because of um, the immersion year they have in fourth year and, and the exposure all the way through the programme, definitely that's the advantage that Otago has. They, they, they've got a very good reputation for being absolutely ready to go on qualification. And there's masses of opportunities for them. There's lots of jobs out there. Last year, for example, at graduation, I was talking to the students there and most of them had two or three job offers. So it's a good job market for students presently.